Okay everyone, so what I'm going to do today is show you how to use the debugger in code blocks. So what I've written here is just a small program that right now it should work just fine and we can go ahead and test that. Okay, as you can see it works fine, but I went over in a separate video that if you try to look at a, a null pointer it will crash your program. And so let's just do that to prove that. Okay, and as you can see it crashes. Now if you didn't know why your program was crashing, you'd want to use this tool here, which is the debugger. But until you have it in a project, as you can see, there's really nothing you can do. Uh, it's all grayed out. So to go ahead and start a project, we're going to have to go up to File first, New, Project. And I just tend to do an empty code blocks project. Okay, we're going to have to go through this, this little WYSIWYG, and uh, go ahead and give it a name. And looking at everything else looks fine. Go on to just use the defaults for the compiler. And then as you can see, it's, it's good to go, but you have to add the file to the project before you can actually debug it with debug and release checked. So let's try it again, and of course it still crashes. So, let's use the debugger. And as you can see, what that does is it tells you what line your program crashed on, usually. And you can see it labels it right there. And then, so let's do something a little different. Let's do it step by step. Uh, so to do this, you're going to have to use these commands up here, the step into being the major one, but you have to add a breakpoint by just clicking there and there are a few things you can do with the breakpoints but let's just go over the simple way first and so oh well I forgot to close the debugger so uh, let me just start it again and if I do that you can see it starts the program but it's actually not run all the way through and I use this uh, not next line but the step into command to do that and you'll see if I do that it runs line by line until it hits the line that makes it crash. Now there's a few options in the debugger that you can use to kind of check what's going on in the computer in the registers and whatnot and uh, those are to the right here in the debugging windows and you can see you have thing, things like CPU registers and you've got um, you've got memory dump and there's there's some other things here that I have kinda rarely used but they all have uses and then um, one of my favorite ones is watches and as you can see watches actually lets you see uh, your variables in real time and so that to me has been the most useful especially if you're testing a program that maybe isn't crashing but is giving you the wrong results you can see what your variables are doing in real time especially if they're regular variables like integers so let me just change one where I'll do x is equal to 5 and you'll be able to see kind of what happens with that variable as it goes on after I stop the debugger first and that's important for when you're going to start it again okay and so let's let's just go ahead and start it and then bring up our watches oh not in that one it's uh yep watches at the bottom of the left one and you can see X is uninitialized, so it's actually at 47 right now. And let me just go ahead and do step into. And as you can see there, it's been declared as 6. And then we move on a little bit more down to this line. And after this line is done, you can see X changes it to 5. And then if we continue on, it's just going to continue to crash the program again. But the debugger has a lot of uses and it can be a little bit tricky to use sometimes, but it's very, very helpful. And I hope that helped. Have a good one. Snow Music Studio.